Hi, I'm Chris Zane, founder and president of Zane Cycles. Actually, I started as a mechanic. This you know, gentleman, Mr. Sharp in Brantford, hired me to work for him at his bike shop for the summer of the year that I was 16. And this store kind of didn't really sell a lot of bikes. So he said to me in August, you know, I'm going to find you another job at another bike shop because you're a good mechanic because I'm going to close the store. So I went home to my parents and I said, Mr. Sharp's going to close the store. I want to buy all of, the, all of his inventory and take over his space, you know, take over the lease. My dad helped me with the books. My mom came in in the morning because I was still in high school. And so at that point, you know, it was obvious, like this was the direction I was going to go. And I had seen some success. The business had grown. We started first year sales with about $56,000. By the time I finished college, we were up, you know, 300,000 in sales, 275,000 in sales. So the business was, was ultimately profitable enough for one employee. I mean, I really had myself and one kid that helped me out. And so I thought, you know, after I finished school, I was going to expand the business. So I opened a second store in New Haven, and that failed miserably. I almost went out of business all the way around. People were unhappy with you know, me not having the interaction with them, and my staff was kind of focused on trying to help the other store. And, and you, you really, like, one day it was like, wow, these people really just don't like us anymore. At that point, that's when I realized what business we were really in. I realized we weren't in selling bikes, we were in building relationships with customers. Anything else you need? So now you're, you yeah. need wheels to ride, so it's yeah. going to be a bike. Being customer service focused. As far as the employees go, I engage the employees in understanding that we're in this business by instead of looking at each of the transactions with each customer, we looked at the lifetime value of that customer. We said, you know, if they get their first bike at four and they get a bike all the way until they retire, how many dollars will they spend in our store? It took about 12 months to really see the meter turn and go the other way. And then all of a sudden we were at a half a million in sales, and then we were at three quarters of a million dollars in sales, and then we went to a million dollars in sales. We had a, it started out in this corporate side of the business where I supply bikes now to companies that give them away for free. Now we're pretty much the exclusive supplier of bike shop quality bikes to anybody that would get them in a points program or as a service award. So we've gone from 56,000 to 15 million or 16 million in sales now over 30 years. And so that's, you know, annually a 20 through 2% growth. I'll be back to you. And it really is all based on the interaction, whether it's a corporate customer and we're interacting with them on a B2B level where we're taking care of them so they don't look for someone else to buy from, or it's our retail customers coming in and again getting high five.